Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to hold the ukulele without using a strap that let you change chords easily and move up and down the neck without dropping the instrument? Wouldn't that be nice? Well, there is a way to do it, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you how. People ask me this question all the time, and here's the secret. Here's the way I do it. There are two points of contact. The first point of contact is here on the side of my fretting hand. I'm going to support the ukulele using the side of my fretting hand. And the second point of contact is down here. My forearm touches lightly against the varnish of the ukulele. Okay, now you'll notice right here that I've got my sleeves rolled up. And in fact, if you go to any one of my YouTube videos, chances are that I've got my sleeves rolled up. I think a lot of players around the world do this too. They, they roll up their sleeves when it's time to play. Even when I was playing with the Taiwan Chinese Orchestra in a much more formal setting, I still walked on stage, took off my coat and rolled up my sleeves because I felt like I couldn't do my best, I couldn't play my best without having that contact with the instrument. It's actually the natural friction of your skin against the varnish of the ukulele that gives it a, a sort of a sticky, a stickiness and keeps the instrument in place. Now here's the danger zone. The danger here is that you're going to press too hard, that you're going to pull in too hard on that lower bout of the instrument. And if you pull in too hard, if you pull that ukulele right into your sort of armpit, what happens to the other end is of course, it um, springs out in front of you like this. It's going to pull away from you. And this is really frustrating for people because they're trying to change chords, but the ukulele is kind of fighting against them. The, the ticket here is that you want to not press into the ukulele with your forearm. You're simply touching the instrument just enough so that the natural friction of your skin picks up the friction of the, the front of the instrument. This works especially well if you have a glossy finish on your, uh, on your soundboard here. That's all it takes, just a light touch to keep that side of the instrument in place. Now let's go and look at the other side of things. On my fretting hand here, I, I rest the instrument lightly against the side of my hand. And you might think, well, how am I supposed to change chords or even, or even make a chord when my hand is tied up like that? Well, it might sound strange, but if you try it, I think you'll find that you can rest the instrument on the side of your hand like that, like you see right here, and you can still move all of your fingers quite freely and independently. Even your thumb is now free to move around for those extreme cases where you're playing Jimi Hendrix and you have to play you know, a note over the top like this. Doesn't happen very often for most of us, but the point is that all of your fingers are free to move as you're moving up and down the neck. Okay, so here's an example. I'll take a chord where I'm playing all of the, um, all of the strings, where I'm fretting uh, a note on each string, and I can fairly simply and easily move up the neck. And every time I shift, I'm actually drawing my hand back, maintaining contact with the side of the neck. Um, with the side of my hand. Okay, so this is the way I do it. And this may or may not work for you, you know, but uh, give it a try and uh, see if it works. Two points of contact, side of the hand and the forearm on the varnish. Okay, it's, it's worked for me for years. Um, of course, I know this is different for men and women. I even have a friend who went as far as to uh, get a custom-made ukulele that had a concave back to it so that when she played like this it fit just right into her anatomy. She called it the boobalele and I, I never forgot that because it was a good example of you know how this solution isn't for everybody. It's not a one-size-fits-all kind of a deal. Experiment, see if this works for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below this video if it works for you and if not if you discovered something that could help somebody else down the line. 
Don't forget to check out uh, my lessons at theukuleleway.com. That's where I'm teaching the art and science of solo ukulele, how to juggle melody, harmony, and rhythm simultaneously on one instrument. Come on over. It's free to sign up. Uh, I'd love to see you there. And uh, check out some of my other free YouTube videos. So until the next time, keep on strumming.